Well, it looks like our quilting bee will soon be coming to an end because this is the end right here. I thought I might finish it today, but it's probably more likely to be tomorrow. Daylily seems to be feeling very inspired about doing something, but she said she doesn't have a frame. Well, if you want to do something a little smaller, you don't really need a frame. Actually, those country quilts I showed you, I made in the country, and I didn't have a frame for those. There is a technique called lap quilting, and if you have basted your three layers together very well, you can just do it on your lap. The woman who gave me this frame gave it to me because her husband complained because she was in the other room. She was doing her quilting on this frame and he wanted her in the TV room with him watching the TV. And so she started doing lap quilting so she could be with her hubby. Isn't that sweet? Now another way you could go, Daylily, you can use one of those large wooden embroidery frames you just have to move it a little more often, but it does hold it nice and taut. You probably still, however, would have to baste it. 30 and out, Ken asks, since I can't see the large general effect, have I ever been surprised at the outcome after I finished and opened, opened it up? Oh yes, always. A surprise is too mild a word. I would say thrilled. I've had the same experiences uh, with my collages. Very often, when I make a collage, I try to make it with my subconscious. I don't try to evaluate what the material is I'm using. And after the completion of the collage, I think, oh my God. I, have, I get a, an analysis of the picture that I never would have come up with. It seems totally obvious to me then. Then of course there are other people see different things. I always like it when other people tell me what they see in my collages. Toby asked about my daughters. Do they have any of my quilts? Well yes they do. Those quilts I showed at, up in the country that weekend where I uh, wanted to come home that log cabin and the uh, Amish hexagrams. They have those. They had brought them up that weekend. Wasn't that sweet instead of sleeping bags? <laughs> They've never asked me for a quilt. I have made quilts. When my older daughter got married, I made her a double wedding ring. And uh, I, they have other, I've made them other quilts also. They've never asked me for a quilt. And Toby said, have they ever fought over a quilt? My daughters don't fight. I lucked out with my daughters. They're very close. They love each other very much. And if there was any feeling between them of wanting to have the quilt that the other one had, they would solve that very quickly by just trading it back and forth. I'm very sure of that so they would take turns enjoying it. Oh, Joanna Banana wants to know what will my next project be? Well, the immediate next project will be making the movie. <laughs> yes, having done all these videos, I'm going to put them together and make Quilting Online the movie and put it on DVDs, which I will then probably uh, sell right. at yeah. the quilt unveiling. The completion of this aspect of it, the quilting, the needle in, needle out, that's just one stage. It's the longest stage, as you have no doubt noticed, those of you who have been hanging out here with me. Um, but then I have quite a bit of work yet to do. I have to trim it and then I have to bind the edges, sign it, which I do with embroidery, and uh, I have to sew a sleeve on the back. I, I put a, a sleeve tube on the back um, 
through which then I insert a slat which I use for hanging it. Leave it to Suja to ask the deep question, how do I feel now that I'm approaching the end? Well, it's a good question. I would say it's all R&R. &R. Some relief and some regret. Because it's just like been a wonderful trip. It's been an experience and it's drawing to an end. Relief in the sense that I'm now free to do something else. But since the time I first started vlogging, I had this in mind to do a quilt online. And uh, it didn't double the work, but it certainly expanded the time and the effort and the rewards too. I'll be back probably with one more quilting video and then we'll start the exciting stuff. Unwinding it for the first time and seeing what it looks like, that's going to be exciting. I wish I had a wide angle lens for that.